What's happening, Fat Week Show fans? Fat Week Show people, them man. Look what the cats dragged in. <laughs> we got Modestus, the Bounty Gladiator, Bukowskas. How you doing, my brother? Yes, doing very well. Thank you, brother. Even better now that I'm here talking with you, my man. Oh, man. It's been a minute. And, um, bro, I, I, I've just... I've I've just had the, 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 the one of the one of the best conversations off air with you coming into this and I never take your time for granted, man. You know what I mean? You always show us love on this channel. You always pull up when we ask you to. But from your from your last fight to this fight, I've not really seen you out there really uh, doing doing much media. You've really focused on yourself. I see on your on your page all the time. You've been you've been out traveling a lot and 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 improving your skill set, especially in the in the in the in the grappling department. But before we get there, can, can I ask you? I, I want to say happy birthday to you first. Belated <laughs> Thank you very uh, much. birthday to you first. I uh, hope you hope you had a good. Uh, hope you had a great time with your family, your friends, and 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 and, and the people around you. And on top of that. Bro, what 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 have you what have you been been out there doing? Like I said, you've not really done plenty of media. You just you just been focusing on yourself. But can you tell the people for the people that don't you know that don't stalk your page like I do? <laughs> my <laughs> man, my man. <laughs> <laughs> we need people to be more like you, my man. Do you know what I mean? We need to get that get that traffic to the page. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but now, honestly, since the last fight, I had a. Had a bit of a a change of a change of thought processes. Um, I had uh, like a lot of epiphanies. I had a lot of um, it, it's 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 almost like a a device a, a diversification of my of my mindset and my overall just being. Um, and I feel like it was much needed. I feel like there was a massive turn. Uh, in my life in terms of even just me realizing that I'm now entering a more mature stage in my life as much as everyone likes to think that it's not <laughs> like right now I, I feel like I've I've made uh, certain learning curves that are going to only push me further um, to help me reach those heights that I do need in my career um, as a lot of people have seen Vito Petrino and Tyson Pedro are fighting each other tonight obviously it's something that I'm going to keep my close eye on um, you know both both very good fighters and you know it'd be interesting to see you know which man comes out on top uh however i still to this day believe that obviously i could could have beaten both of them um you know uh petrino caught me with a very nice uh check hook um and again it's just uh <laughs> I, I i uh i dipped when i should have ducked i dodged when i should have dived do you know what i mean so uh i i, I missed uh i missed a a, a technical aspect in the move that i was trying to throw which got me caught um and i'm not gonna lie to you i, I kind of entered a, a mad stage of just darkness you know usually i mean obviously when you lose this it's never it's never a good thing i tried to get back on the straight and narrow and be positive straight away but i went through a uh i went through a time of of darkness just in my head like i got through a point where i literally just wanted to shave my head I wanted to, uh, uh, you know, like completely change my image and, and just be away from everyone, which I have done to a certain degree. Um, but I realized that although I was doing a lot of things right, I was also doing a lot of things wrong, you know, and, and things that aren't going to propel me to, to be the champion of the UFC. Um, and I feel like God always uh, provides his lessons in the harshest ways possible, um, you know, with a fight that, I clearly could have won uh, going in the opposite direction, ended up losing. Um, it had to open your eyes. So I'm actually thankful for this lesson because it is truly a lesson. Um, so what have I been doing? I've, I've been trying to do grappling tournaments, so wrestling. My first tournament um, didn't go amazing. I went to quite a tough tournament in Finland. Um, I, I, I won... I won two matches, but then I lost. Uh, I lost my other matches, which meant I I dipped out of the bronze medal match. Um, again, easily matches that I could have won. Um, I went out to Lithuania to train with Sergei Mazlaboyev, who's actually beaten Alex Pereira in kickboxing, um, and he he was the um, Glory World Champion. 
Uh, so an amazing experience with him. Um, I do feel like I, I massively underperformed during that time because I, f I think I had COVID or some sort of really bad flu because mm. when I came back home, I was out. I was out for the count for like at least wow. a good week, you know? So, um, like I say, it, it was a period of darkness, but a period of realization almost. Um, I was, I, I felt like it was a bit like I was listening to like just remixes with Anakin Skywalker, like, you know, <laughs> turn into the dark side almost. And like, I felt like I went through for a period where I just wanted to get away from everyone and everything. I, I felt like a couple of people turned their back on me as well. Um, which was a shame. Um, but you know, uh, at the same time, I'm very thankful, like I say, for all, the, all those things, because it, it wouldn't put me like, now I'm noticing the rise again, you know, there's a massive fall, a massive dip, and everything soon, it's like everything at the beginning of last year went amazing, you yeah. know, got back to the UFC, won in Australia, you know, like, every, and then slowly as the year went on, everything just went worse and worse and worse and worse until the pinnacle, which was obviously losing my fight, uh, you know, not placing in that wrestling tournament and, uh, you know, just things in my personal life not going quite as amazing as I would have hoped. Um, but I started the new year fresh. I didn't drink at all. Um, I literally got a good night's sleep and went to training straight away the next day. So, you know, already it was a start or, or a sign that, you know, the, the tides are turning in a way. Um, you know, I entered a wrestling tournament that was on my birthday. Um, I got a bronze medal. Um, I won two matches pretty handily. And the only match that I lost was against a two-time British champion. And I only lost I only lost to him 5-4. So, you know, at one point, you know, and, 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 and it could have flipped the other way and I could have been fighting for the, uh, the gold medal position. So, oh. you know... Um, not only, not only that was a, like an amazing thing at the, at the beginning of this year. Um, another thing is finally getting the kick up the ass to start uh, mine and my dad's or the process of getting mine and my dad's app complete oh. about our kettlebell system. So for our personal training to be able to reach out to the masses, you know, when you're doing personal training one to one, you can only reach so many people. But when you do it online, you can you can reach so so many different people do you know what i mean so uh that is another thing that i again got to kick up the art because there's a lot <laughs> that goes on it's not just oh yeah i'll just I'll, I'll just put some exercises and put an app on no there's so many things that go around it that again has added to my maturity has made me become more of a man and mm. um I'm, I'm very thankful for that as well and um yeah like I haven't really been crazy active on social media because as I say, I've just been working on myself. Yeah. My dad actually told me today, he was like, Modessa, so I'm actually quite proud of you because you know, your grappling has improved massively. Your, your, your mindset has improved massively and we just keep continuing to improve. I've just been noticing steadily mm. improving bit by bit. I've had uh, new amazing training partners, uh, that, that, that I've got together with, um, which is mad because I'm I'm training with James Webb and then uh, and now Yannick Bahati has actually just come to our gym at BST and I know they were supposed to fight each other but it was all all respect and everything. Obviously James uh, had a, had a bad injury and you know he he wasn't able to uh, to compete in that matchup. Um, but uh, you know I've trained with both of them and they're both amazing guys and you know they've really been helping me, um, especially James with the grappling aspect. Uh, you know and. Um, and yeah, they're, they're just really cool guys, like really amazing fellas. And um, yeah, just, you know, f for my dad to say, you know, he, he's proud of me in terms of the improvements that I've made and, and just seeing myself like, you know, as I say, as a person, as an athlete, things are continuing to elevate. Things are continuing to go in the right direction. There is no fight booked. There is no, nothing in the pipeline, um, which is frustrating, but continuing and pushing and striving even with the frustration is another thing that requires a lot of maturity patience mm. is a skill and uh and and you know it's definitely a hard one to to to, to grasp at times but you, you know we must just keep pushing forward and that's exactly what i've been doing and uh you know i've noticed a vast improvement in my skill set and i believe when god says it is the right time here is your fight. Here is now your chance to show yourself to the world stage because I will only give you a fight when you are ready. And that is, that is what I truly believe. I truly believe the universe is, has been speaking that. You know, it, they, the universe wouldn't make this happen 
mm. if they didn't want me to become a champion you know mm. i feel like uh the these 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 things that have happened were, were almost <laughs> part of the story it has to be it has to be done it can't be done any other way you know yeah. and um you know another thing god leaves his toughest tests for his strongest strongest soldiers so you know i believe that i continue to be strengthened uh, all the time so as i say uh everything will come together full circle when it is time but i must say there is a brazil card on may the 4th i believe mm. and I, I i was also watching rocky the other day I, the first film yeah the first film and um it really it really spoke volumes to me because in in a lot of ways he's very similar to me you know the guy that doesn't get appreciated you know the guy who does well but then no one really gives a crap uh, yeah. not not for everyone i'm talking about but you know just just in just general. just in, just in perspective yeah and then he gets the opportunity of a lifetime and then he li literally puts it all out on the line he he goes through troubles he he has things that he has to has to deal with and then and then he reaches the top you know and there's one thing that he says um you know talking about feeling that he's going to lose to apollo and then he goes all i want to do is just go the distance you know mm. and that really that really spoke volumes to me and that really rang true with me and it really like was close to my heart because that's all i want to do all i want to do is go go the distance me and my dad do you know what i mean reaching yeah. the top yeah. um and i know that i'm capable of doing so you know yeah. so it's it's just a mat it's only it's only a matter of time but back to the brazil thing that i was talking about yeah i can have a rocky free moment right because in rocky free and again we're going we're going back to the um <laughs> back, back to the references uh of rocky but in rocky free he loses the first time to club lang and then he yeah. he trains he gets better he changes up his system and then he comes back and whoops his ass. So yeah. in 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 that respect, I believe that the first time going to Brazil, I was supposed to lose. But the second time, it ain't going to be like that. But this could be my Rocky Free moment where I go back to the place where I lost and I overturn that and I get the win. And I really feel that it's something I would love to do. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the pipeline. I've mentioned it um, before. I've mentioned it to my manager. So again it, all in god's timing all in yeah. god's timing so mm -hmm. whenever whenever he feels i'm ready oh you know i'll just keep training and and getting myself to that point yeah man keep training staying ready so you don't gotta get ready you know what yeah 100 percent. 100 percent. um like i said you know if people didn't hear what i said earlier on at the top of the show i do i do be stalking your page and <laughs> there, there's, there's a lot of gems that you you know you put out to 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 the world to to the universe as i said and 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 the energy that you put out a lot of the times will will, will will come back to you in the most positive way and one of probably your best traits that i love especially you know when 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 i'm um when i'm on your page and stuff is is the amount of self-reflection -re that you do you look in the mirror and you really you really hone in on on things that you could do better you know you talk a lot about about self-improvement as well and there's one that you said here fucking angry and upset with myself i'm so much better than how i've performed i understand this is just my path and this is how it has to go and when i fight like the baltic gladiator should you are all in for treats until then battling the demons of my past yet working on improving my future and that spoke absolute volumes and for people that's you know that don't that don't really follow uh modestas bukaskas i don't know what you're doing go and follow his page <laughs> go and follow his page he's always dropping gems all the time but that that sort of self-reflection and to have somebody like gintas your dad you know you fight out of his gym as well as well as bst academy what does that do for you when when you when you're psyching yourself preparing for battle even the daily just daily battles forget the cage just daily yeah. battles in life and just trying to get through day one day two day three do you know what it's mad because these these gems sort of come uh, almost naturally naturally in the process of 
trying to improve myself. And um, one thing is that I never truly believe in myself. Like, I believe in myself, of course, but I never, I never wholeheartedly truly understand my skill set. I've been brought up to be humble. I've been brought up to be courteous and kind. Um, and, you know, you've got, I've got to thank my parents for that. Um, and, you know, it's 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 a very good like positive attribute to have but it, it can also it can also kind of hold you back a little bit because you don't fully embrace how good you are and sometimes you've got to sit back and think like i am actually bloody good like why why am i not thinking like this because a lot of the times it's self-belief that can push you uh over the over the the barrier between winning and losing you know what i mean if you just go in there and just think ah I'm good. I can win. That's not personally. I don't think that's good enough. Mm. You know, guys like Conor McGregor, guys, guys who go in there and 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 you know, like Hamza Chamaya, they are so fully, it, and it's it's not arrogance. It's it's just full confidence within them and their skill set. So you know, even, that's what brought that that quote actually uh, that that I put because I was watching Rocky and I was I, I was just sitting there and I'm thinking to myself like. I'm very annoyed. I'm very annoyed at the, the, how things have turned out because I'm so much better than that. And I never really give myself any credit at all. And a lot of people tell me this. They say, Modesta, like you're, you know, you've done all these things, but because I'm feeling like it's never enough, mm-hmm. I always want more. I, I am not good enough until I am the best. Until I am classified as the best, I will never think I've done enough. I think that's a good thing in, in terms of me developing my skill set because I'm always trying to find ways to get better. Um, but also that it, it, it kind of makes you dim it, it it makes me dim my shine a bit too much. Like I should understand that I have this shine and I don't want to let anything put clouds over it. Do you know what I mean? And and the person that's putting those clouds over it is myself yeah. because I'm always thinking I just need to be better. And obviously since since I was a kid, I, I've always felt the need to want to be better. My dad's always wanted me to to strive to be better and never to think of you too highly of yourself, which oh. is which is great. But we also need to understand that you you are good, you know. Yeah. So looking back at, at my skill set and how good I am, and then losing certain fights, it's frust- it is frustrating and uh, upsetting because you know that the outcome could be different. You know, seeing yourself getting knocked out on social media is never the the, the nicest thing. Mm. And, you know, seeing others succeed where you believe you could have also succeeded is also painful. But at the same time, uh, as, a, as I mentioned before, it's just the journey of, of, of becoming better and becoming truly uh, the athlete that you're supposed to be and just correcting certain errors in your ways. And uh, like I say, if I didn't, as frustrating as annoying as it is, that's why I say, you know, dealing with the the struggles of the past, but then, you know, but also looking for for improvement and and basically bettering your future. Um, yeah, man, it's 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 just it's just knowing that I have all this potential, um, and I know I can live it out. All I've got to do is just to fine tweak a couple of things. God meant didn't want it to happen because these little tweaks have not been made yet. And I believe that with these tweaks and everything that I've been improving on and working on now, not only in my personal life, but also in my in my athletic life, I believe mm-hmm. it will get me to, to, to the top. And you know, I'm 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 gonna come out and make make waves uh in the game. Uh as I mentioned before. It's just unfortunate that it's had to go this way, but I believe that the story will be much sweeter. Uh, at the end and i believe that is also uh my calling in this life is is actually do you know what to show people that you can come back from adversity and you can become a champion same like michael bisping you know i feel like i'm also on this on this path as well and uh i'm just looking forward for it to unfold because i'm only getting better every single day so the longer it goes on before a fight the better i'll be yeah, man. I mean, look, if there's one person <clears throat> that I know personally, know for a fact 
is capable of coming back from adversity is you. They don't call you the, the comeback king for no reason. <laughs> but, um, and, and I'm sure uh, you'll be back. I know I know that Petri, Petrino loss, uh, it took a lot out of you. I, I was got I was got it for time, bro. Like there was there was sometimes I was talking on certain shows and I think back to it, I talk about it and I still realize how gutted I was for you, for your whole team, you know, mm -hmm. all your fans, which which I'm a big part of as well. And yeah, that 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 really that really got me. But I know at the same time it it, it takes it takes a while, it takes time for you to to really look in, into yourself and 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 get out of that slump. And here yeah. you are, you're shining again. Um, <sighs> you know, all oh, this talk about cutting your hair, don't do it, man. People pay top dollar in terms. <laughs> But I, but I it, I don't do it, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, I know, I know. Trust me, mate. I, I was about to go rogue, mate. I was about to just go. I was going to be a completely different man. I was like, do you know what? I'm changing my image. I'm changing everything. And then I'm like, and then I look at myself. I'm like, well, I can still gel it up, make it look a little bit pretty. I'm like, nah. I don't know. If, I don't know if I want to go there yet. Do you know what I mean? So. They picked um, up the line turkey, man, for, for, for that. Yeah. Day. You know how to do that. Um, <clears throat> look, talking about talking about the, this business, because I want to shine a lot more a, lo a lot more light, light on it, because it's obviously something that's really, really close to your heart and what you've been doing with your with your dad as well in terms of the, the kettlebell business that, you know, that you're, that you're trying to put together. Um, what, what's the inspiration behind it and how can, you know, the people, general public that you're trying to sell it to how can they benefit from 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 this uh if, if you don't mind explaining to the people so they get yeah it and all of that stuff yeah so my dad has been covering this is why so many and there's no disrespect to anyone that that has approached me a lot of people have said you know oh if you want to take your game to the next level do my strength and conditioning do my thing and and this and that and of course training different ways can also uh, help diversify and make you strong and make you better. Mm. Uh, however, I truly stand by and believe that my dad's way of doing things is the best. That is why I will never do anything different. You know what I mean? I truly, truly believe in what he does and, and, and how great it is for me because it's so diverse, the way that he trains. And also, his way of doing kettlebells is... Uh, is you know is back when he was in the soviet union army and like you know they're teaching you how to do it the right way guys like hauling up 40 two 40 kilo kettlebells and you know a lot of these guys aren't, aren't hurting themselves it's mad because i had someone comment on one of my on one of my videos like a couple years maybe a year ago or something mm -hmm. oh mate you're gonna break your back or oh, come and join me and I'll, I'll tell you how to do it properly <laughs> and i remember messaging him back and i'm like don't worry, brother. Uh, I'm 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 about to hit 30 years old, and I've not once had a back issue. I bet mm. you've probably had three or four yourself. So I'm absolutely fine. Don't you worry. You know what I mean? Like because it was almost like a bit of a dig of, uh, as to what we're doing. And this is mad because I've I've done it with my clients, like all, all the training, and none of them have ever had issues uh, with with the kettlebells. And and I do believe there's so many different ways of doing it, and people are trying to pitch this, pitch that, and I truly in my in my head think everyone else is doing it wrong or maybe maybe they're doing it good like you know that they're, they're improving but i believe that you can improve so much vaster if you have the knowledge that my dad has which mm. is why we've cu uh, cultivated and put it all together so that the public can learn the way that we do kettlebells and and actually improve and get to you know improve their fitness improve their strength improve their overall well-being improve their functionality so many different areas of fitness that 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 they can get better at and uh you know like i say my dad always constructs the craziest workouts and don't get me wrong we don't just do kettlebells but one day specifically we we dedicate just to the kettlebells yeah. and um i believe there are a lot of exercises that people haven't done before people haven't seen and the way that we do it is a little bit different to everyone else's that right. is a massive selling point and um you know like i say you've got the soviet union no holds barred heavyweight champion giving his knowledge uh yeah. you've got a you know two-time cage warriors champion and current ufc fighter giving his knowledge right. you put that together i mean it's, it's definitely a recipe uh for for a great for a great system to be spread out to the public and i'm yeah. really looking forward to release it there's a couple uh things that need to be finalized before we get it out there and put it on the app store and stuff like this but once it's out there i do believe we are going to help people and we're going to help people feel stronger 
healthier, happier, be more functional, um, probably avoid, you know, injuries by, by building up the tissue within their body, you know, like I say, using the many years of experience and personal training of myself and my dad, you know, my dad's been training people for much longer than I have, but my strength increased massively. Like I can't even begin to tell you how did I get the frame of a light heavyweight coming from middleweight? Well, that's my dad. You know what I mean? How did this skinny, everyone used to tell, they look at me and they think, Oh my God, you, you just got great genetics and you're massive. I'm like, you want to look at pictures of me when I was 16? Do you want to look at pictures of me when I was 11 or 10? <laughs> I was a skinny, weedy kid. Do you mm. know what I mean? I had I had twigs, twigs for arms and legs, <laughs> and then uh, maybe not the legs. Legs, I've, I've I've definitely for some reason always had big legs. But um, again, everything else, I, I've truly built the body. You know, some people look at me and look at some of my photos and think like, "Are you a bodybuilder?" Do you know what I mean? Or you know, or, or stuff like this. And it's just like, no, like it's just the training that I've been doing. It's just de been developing. And look at all the injuries that I've had, and I've managed to work around it. How have yeah. I done that? Obviously, one of the keys and the tools is via my dad's uh, kettlebell training. So, yeah. um, like I say, when we put this app together, uh, it's going to be called Baltic Gladiator Power. Uh, that's going to be the name of the app. Um, mm. And, and yeah, when we put it out there, I'm just hoping to help people. I'm hoping for people to unleash their inner, inner, inner gladiator power. Yeah. And, um, and, yeah, like, like I say, if, if, if you can go out to the world and help people in different ways and this being one of them, then I'm all for it. And um, yeah, I think it would just be amazing for people to actually see all the hard work that my dad has been putting in over the years. Yeah. as the, Not just like by me fighting, but, but also his coaching and his training and his way of doing things. Yeah. And yeah, uh, I, I believe it will be great for everyone. Yeah, man, hundred percent. And you know, when when that launches, when that when that when that hits, uh, the the bit for general public, we we're definitely going to be supporting and we're wishing you every success in that endeavor, uh, with you and your dad because we know your dad is is always been hands on with every bit of training, every bit of you know whatever it is you're doing. If Saginto's in there, you know what I mean. It's not. It's not. It's not really it, you know. And I've, I've got, I've got other uh, Will, Will Curry in that as well, man. Because you, you, you three, uh, is you know, you're almost inseparable uh, a lot, a lot of the times. Uh, I saw, I saw in one of your, um, in one of your uh, previous interviews, uh, you, you mentioned about your good friend uh, that's come from 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 Germany, uh, Sebastian Hall, and uh, you know, you're helping him with with training. And and uh, you're going to be cornering him in in mm -hmm. in the octagon promotion that's that's coming up. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? You know what he brings to your skill set, how he's helped you, and now you're helping him back, and you're going to be cornering him. And what you know, how big octagon? Like you said, you mentioned it. You mm -hmm. know, octagon uh, is in Germany and over here in the UK as well. If you don't mind mm -hmm. talking about that a little bit. Yeah, it's. Uh... It's a it's a massive promotion. It's mad how much they've grown over the past couple of years. They started out just in Slovakia or somewhere somewhere in that general area, and um, now they've now they've become absolutely huge. And uh, you know they're, they're they're expanding, and you know they're 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 quickly becoming you know one of the third tier uh, promotions like in the world where where it's going to give people the feed to the UFC or to Bellator or to the PFL. So it's a really, it's a really massively massive promotion is done really well. Uh, so Sebastian, um, he's been a friend of mine for eight years now, oh. uh, eight years. I met him in Albuquerque when I was training at Jackson Wink. Uh, we both sparred John Jones together. We both trained with him. Um, there was one thing that I really liked about Sebastian was that he was always, <laughs> way more mature than me <laughs> like he, he you know i can't remember how i think he was the same age as i am now back then or similar and um right. uh, and, and 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 it's mad because he always used to do everything right he never used to go out he never used to party obviously he, he had a missus but he um he would always do everything right eat right you know recover uh train hard you know he'd do everything the, how it's supposed to be done and it was honestly very motivating and inspiring. And we got on very well because we believed in the same thing. Uh, you know, we, we also had, you know, like, like I say, similar sense of humor um, and, and stuff like this. And just like I say, we just had a very similar beliefs. 
uh, we wanted to help each other improve and 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 that was that and um we've always just kept in contact and then uh you know he's been following my whole career you know when when I when I was in uh cage warriors when I won the belt when I went to the UFC he was always there for me always there for me no matter what i remember i went out there to do a seminar um in germany and then since then it's at his gym in in germany and and um since then we've kind of just been doing it more frequently i just went to go out and train with him again he, he organized the training with good training partners uh, with another ufc fighter in dustin stolfus um you know and like i said just i just love it i, I just feel like i'm truly living the athlete lifestyle i'm truly living the way of the warrior when i'm with him because he is he is like a warrior you know what i mean the, the way he conducts himself you know he spent you know so much money on his recovery just to put a plunge pool in a sauna in his back garden because he he knows this is so needed for the body and it and yes yeah, absolutely amazing because um it just helps keep me on the right track helps keep me focused and and makes me feel like i'm going towards my goals a lot better so uh he's a great influence a great guy a really good friend and he's always looking out for me he was one of the he was probably one of the first guys i called when i got the call back to the ufc at the beginning of, uh, of last year so um you know he's uh he, he's a really special guy and um he's very talented also so um you know he's he's actually coming back on monday to train with me for another week yeah. um uh with me and my dad and 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 then obviously the guys at bst and then um and then there'll be one week break and then the week after i or yeah i believe yeah i believe it's the week after i, I go to uh stuttgart uh to help corner him for his fight so um it's mad how a friendship has lasted for such a long time even long distance we've always kept in contact but it just shows that true connections are true connections and people that you really see similar values with you will always be best of friends with them and um yeah uh and like i say we're, we're we're in you know he's at the stage of the career he wants to have his last couple of really good fights and go towards mm -hmm. the belt uh yeah. in his promotion um mm -hmm. you know because he's nearing the end of his career now and he just wants to finish yeah. out the right way and yeah. um you know so i'm i'm more than happy to, to to help him do that and um he's also been helping me prepare for my fights as well because like i say he's also very talented so um it works both ways and um it's very exciting i'm, I'm looking forward to see him go and perform because it has been a long it's been a while since he's fought a sort of the competition uh that he will be fighting in this next fight um yeah. however i believe he's made massive improvements and strides in his own game uh and he will be mentally at, at the peak and i believe that us two together is is another great team so i'm looking forward to to see him get that win yeah i just, I just wanted to shine a little bit of light on it because i, I you know I, I gathered that you you know he's somebody that was really really special to someone that's really important to you and uh you know somebody you have a lot of respect for and um you know he's he's, he's is you've you've put it perfectly uh in, in you know in that little bit there uh you know what 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 this what this brother means to you and your career uh, and and you know we wish him every success in the in the upcoming tournament that's coming out in octagon and um you know uh hopefully he's able to achieve uh, his dreams of of that legacy fight uh that mm. you know that he's trying to put mm. to us to, together towards uh towards the end of his uh his career now let me jump onto this because it caught my attention earlier on. You're eyeballing Brazil again. And you've been <laughs> to so many enemy territories. And you go there. We check. And this is where, you know, when you say you don't believe in yourself enough. There's a lot of <laughs> self that makes somebody even think, you know what, I'm coming to your backyard. Like, I don't care what happened the last night. I'm eyeballing <laughs> it over there in Brazil. And you know, if 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 I get the fight, I'm really going to turn things around where I lost my last fight. To me, that's a tremendous amount of self belief. That's a tremendous amount of 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 knowing who you are and looking in the mirror, and really stripping everything that I'm saying. You know what? I can. I I know I can do this. I know I can do. And this this is this, this is something you know that that I really admire about you. But what would they what would they mean to you not you know for once have a day off from enemy territory and actually uh -huh. fight on home soil like what 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 would that mean to you versus always being you know out there on the on it uh, because i i know that comes with the different pressures of itself 100 percent. 
So what 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 what? How do you see that? How do you see? It? So there, I've heard that there's a show in July in Manchester, mm. um, and I think I'm not sure if that's been announced, but I I did see somewhere on Twitter that it has been announced. I've, obviously, I've known about this for uh for 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 a, for a, for a month or two, but genuinely, I would love to 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 fight in my home country, but I it's mad because as much as I really want that, that's quite far away. Yeah. And uh and number two, there's unfinished business, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like there's another show in Brazil. Mm-hmm. And you're telling me that I don't want to go back there and and sort of recapture the win that re or, and get a win out there that I know I can get. Do you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And like I said, it, it's like my Rocky Free moment. Like I really I don't know where I saw it on TikTok, but I saw little clips. I'm like, that would make so much sense. Do you know what I mean? Just to go back to the country where uh, uh, I've been beaten and to go out there, enter action with boldness. And it's almost like I was having a vision uh, just before I was going to bed and I was thinking, like me walking out into this hostile crowd and saying, (laughs) saying, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die, man. Do you know what I mean? I'm mm. not going to I'm not going to be some little poodle in the street. Mike Tyson <laughs> said that, yeah? yeah. If I'm if I'm going to die now, I'm going to die a man. Mm. And like me just repeating that over and over and over again as I'm walking out into the crowd, like that that would really spur me on. Do you know what I mean? And uh and and I would love to go out there again and really like fully embrace it. Like I embraced it last time, mm. but not to the extent that I feel I will do it now. Um and then when I go and win in Brazil, then I have the key to fight in, in my home country. Do you know what I'm mm. saying? It's almost yeah. like you got you got to win this level to get onto that level. Right. Uh, of course, of course, whatever happens, whatever happens, I'm uh, I'm I'm all for it. And if it means I have to wait till July, then so be it. But let me go back to enemy, enemy territory. Let me go and rewrite rewrite that 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 story do you know what i'm saying let, let me go back there and correct this wrong in my career i feel like this is unfinished business so um anyways uh that's what i feel like i want to do and that's where i feel like the universe is heading me towards uh but as i say we'll just we just keep getting better and we'll see what happens <laughs> i mean a lot of my friends um that's not into mixed martial arts and they hear you or some other fighters talking this way. It's like, let me go back to enemy territory. They they think you guys ain't got the full ticket. Like, <laughs> who wants to go back to the enemy territory, man? Where you know, where 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 everybody's baying for blood and want them to lose, and yeah. it's crazy. But it's it's elite mentality, man. And uh, I, I salute you guys for it. It's, it's one of the reasons why why I get up and do what I do and try and shine the light on you guys because you guys put so much on the line. It's ridiculous, and it needs to be highlighted. People need to know, uh, you know, what, what, what you guys are really willing to put down. And like you said, if you're gonna die today, you want to die, man. That's the that's the mindset that you go into these battles with. It's just fucking crazy. And we all sit on our armchairs at home watching you guys and want to run, you know, want to run commentary and wait, wait, wait. Like, no, you guys really do put it on the line, man. I, 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 I totally, totally respect it, hundred percent. Now, there's a lot going on in your division. You know, we, we've talked about, you know, Tyson Pe- Pedro and, 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 and Petrino. Uh, you know, they're going to be throwing down uh, at some point tonight when, when the UFC card. It's actually early card today. 9 uh, p.m. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be, before, I'll definitely be tuning in. <laughs> you know, you know what? We're waiting three o'clock every single time, every week, like we do over here in the UK. So it's an early card today. I'm really looking forward to it. But there's, you know, we, we, we got an announcement the other day with, um, with Pereira and and Jamal Hill, those two, they 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 they're gonna be fighting for the uh, for the two or five title uh, at UFC three UFC three hundred. Um, uh, what, what what do you think about that title? Because I just want to get your take on those two guys. Obviously, they they, they fight in your division, um, and and massive respect to, to to those guys. But what do you think in terms of? that matchup, the matchmaking of putting both of them together and their skill set that, you know, that, that, that they're going to bring to the table. What, what, what do you think uh, yeah. comes out of that? So they're both strikers, uh, both very different strikers. Uh, Pereira is a kickboxer um, 
and obviously Jamal Hill's got more of a boxing approach. Um, both have shown good takedown defense. However, none of them will be going for takedowns in this fight. That is a guarantee. Um, Jamal Hill's got a very long reach. I think he's got longer reach than uh, Pereira. Um, his southpaw stance is going to be something that's going to be a little bit different for Pereira. However, it does mean that that front leg, uh, yeah, that, that front leg is going to be I don't know because obviously I've seen uh, Jamal Hill actually play a lot of orthodox against Teixeira. Mm. So where, whether he will go southpaw, I think he'll probably go southpaw to protect his leg. Mm. Um, because the one thing that I was thinking in this fight is that Pereira will chew his legs up. Cut. because Yeah, because Hill, Hill has not been hit to the leg a lot. I don't know oh. if you've seen a lot of his fights. He's not yeah. been kicked yeah. to the leg a lot. Yeah. And I feel like Pereira could expose that but where it's not necessarily a good chance, like is is the fact that Pereira doesn't switch stances. You you don't know, like you know, they might change something bet between each fight because yeah. Jamal Hill, you saw him, like I say, go orthodox. I was like, this is a bit weird. I thought he's a southpaw. So um, fair play to Jamal Hill for learning to to fight from both stances. Mm -hmm. But that that may actually staying in southpaw might pay dividends to jamal hill because it means that the power side kick of pereira won't be there as much yeah and the ch and the check will be more readily available for hill yeah um because he has a bit more of a turned in stance due to boxing so yeah. i mean they both got very powerful hands jamal hill's got a lot of forward pressure he's got a lot of volume pereira's got that more of that like one or two punch like bang like knockout shots oh. um, which obviously jamal hill will have to be careful of um it's a very interesting fight um very interesting fight i think if pereira can utilize the low kicks and and, and do something with that uh, he'll make it very and very hard for, for hill but honestly hill's boxing just to me personally i feel that jamal hill has a bit of an edge actually i don't know if people agree with me but Ooh. i feel like he had I think he, I feel like he has a bit of an edge. He can get on the outside of that front foot. He can he can pop that 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 rear uh, that rear left hand uh, down the pipe. Um, so I, I I'm actually leaning towards Hill winning this fight. Um, yeah. Again, it'll be very amazing to see. They're both great athletes, and both in my division, um, and we'll see what happens. But that's personally what I think. Yeah, I, I, I look I look at that that bout there, and I, I think. Hill, 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 Hill is what one of the uh, for me. His boxing is so crisp, like you said. He's he's he's, he's got hands. He can knock people out. I, I think he's, he's got ex exceptional chin as well. Uh, for for the type of fighter that mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the style that 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 he uses and engages in, and looking at looking at this fight, I actually think Hill could throw spanners into the works of what UFC could potentially be planning down the line of maybe getting easy over to 205 and trying it with Pereira again, see if, he, see if something happens there and then potentially have a super fight between easy holding a 205 belt with a Dracos holding a 185 belt, something of that nature because we know UFC has been putting some kind of um, super fights or gimmick fights like that together uh, uh, recently. So he could actually come in and, and ruin a, a path to that, to that, to that party, which which again would open the door to because he didn't actually lose his title, he had to vacate due to injury. Yeah, so we yeah. haven't really seen, you know, what 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 he uh, could do from defending his title uh, 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 stand, standpoint. Um, Francis Ngannou and Anthony Joshua, these two are going to be fighting very very soon. Again, you know, Francis Ngannou has left the UFC, went to PFL. Not actually really done anything at PFL. He's just been doing boxing and he's mm -hmm. earning that fuck you money. You know, when, <laughs> when this, bro this brother's earning a lot, you know, he's earning that fuck you money from those Arabs over there in Riyadh, in Saudi Arabia. They're doing a lot of good things over there. We just seen PFL versus Bellator last week. Big things happening over there. John Jones was over there as well, talking about Stipe, talking about Francis and what he could do. You know, what? what's your take on this bout? I haven't seen Francis in there with... Uh, 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 Tyson Fury. What? How do you think it fares against somebody like Anthony Joshua? Anthony Joshua's got that fire. He's got that dog in him. Um, I don't know why a lot of people have been criticising his boxing because I believe him to be one of the most technically sound boxers out there. 
And not only that, he's got that fire in him. You can see it in his eyes. I don't know if you saw it in his eyes in his last fight, but he yeah, was oh, yeah. going. He was going for Wallen. He's like, I'm no, I'm taking, I'm taking your soul, mate. Like that's literally what vibes he was going with. It's almost something that I could take. Uh, I, I do take inspiration from. Again, he lives the life of an athlete. He doesn't live the life of some, you know, guy drinking beer. Like he's 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 on he's on the right path. He's on the straight and narrow. He's on the road. Um, Obviously, Francis Garner is also on the same on the same way. Uh, Anthony Joshua has been in the boxing game for much longer. Um, the only thing, the only f and and do you know what, Ingarner did so amazing against Fury. Like he, he really he really showed like amazing technicality for boxing, which he has a you know a natural uh, natural ability and talent for, which is obviously he's, he's been working very hard on. I personally, in this fight, believe that Joshua should. This is the fight where, you know. Everyone thought Fury would just kind of like play with him. Not to say that Joshua will play with him, but I, I, I firmly believe that Joshua will take this fight, even though Ngannou is, is a great competitor. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. like I say, I could be proven wrong. Who knows? Um, because Ngannou's got that one shot that can just like turn your lights out. <laughs> uh, but, 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 you know, I, I feel like anti Joshua is so, so good straight down the middle. Like he moves his head the way he's been fighting his last fights. I just don't. I actually don't see him losing to to many of the top guys. You know mm. what I mean? Like I feel like Josh has been 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 leveling up massively in his last fight, and, and I think people are sleeping on that. Uh, it's mm. a massive fight. Obviously, Ngannou's amazing. Um, I think it will probably end up going twelve rounds, but it will be a bit of a barn burner. You know what I mean? Um, and uh, like I say, I think the technical ability and being in that sport for the, for the longer time, I think Joshua will have the edge. Um, even though, like I say, Ngannou has done an amazing job of of getting so good in such a short space of time, and obviously, you don't want to get hit at all by that guy. So uh, it's very interesting to see. Um, but yeah, like I say, I think people need to also give Joshua a hell of a lot of credit because I think he's been looking sensational in his last couple of fights. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, I, I'm looking forward to that fight. Uh, I'm not gonna miss it for the world. It's mm -hmm. it's gonna be entertaining, and just to this this is more about curiosity on Francis's side rather than you know on AJ's side because we know what AJ is capable of of doing, especially being an Olympic or, or, you know fight, fighting yeah. from the Olympics. That the, when it's time to go back to the basics of boxing, you know that Olympic mindset comes in and and yeah. you just you, you strip everything back and you you know you you just show everyone the sweet science of boxing and i believe age has been really showing people that uh of late so we'll, we'll see we'll see what what um what francis how he can hang how he can hang in there with aj because at this point aj to me is still the most superior boxer so um yeah. when it comes to a fight fighter thing yeah francis is a fighter but aj as a boxer i think he is, he's the most superior yeah. A boxer yeah. out too so yeah 100 percent. we're looking forward to to that right before we get out of here we can not talk about your beloved club about my beloved club arsenal football club uh we, we we've seen we've seen how they've been moving since they came back from dubai i don't know what they did to what ateta did to those guys over there in dubai but <sighs> since they came back from dubai they've been bleating everybody away newcastle which I know, you know, your family mm -hmm. affiliated with, with Newcastle. They're the latest victims of 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 Arsenal uh, and 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 coming to the Emirates and getting blissed four one. Uh, what's your overall uh, uh, take on how Arsenal has been doing, and and what what are your expectations for them now? Getting closer to the end of the season, what would yeah. you like to see? From you're going to be you're actually going to be very upset with me because, uh, like I say. <laughs> Like I say, you're going to be upset with me because, you know, as I've said, I've I've gone through a massive transitional stage yeah. in myself as a being, in my career, my character. So usually when I'll kind of just like kind of sneak in and see what, what Arsenal's been doing, what they've been getting up to, I knew that they were at the top of the table, um, you know, and especially like towards the beginning of the season, I knew that they were second and, you know, and stuff like this. And, yeah. and um, you know, I, I've seen them play a couple of games and stuff like this, but then, like as I've been getting more entranced in what I'm doing, I've yeah. I've not actually uh, been following it quite as much as I would like to. 
Um, however, I have obviously, you know, every time I do take a little peek, I always notice that they're doing absolutely amazing. And um, it's, I feel like we're coming back to the, to the days of old, you know, where, you know, you had Thierry Henry, you know, you had Vieira, like, like I said, like the, the I think I've mentioned this before, like that was the, the team. Do you know what I mean? That was the team that, that was, I remember playing FIFA 2004 or something. Well, long, long, long story short. Um, basically, I think we're going back towards the glory days of what Arsenal we know and love to be. And um, like I say, it's very exciting for the club because um, they've, they've been waiting for it. Do you know what I mean? They, they've just, they've just been, everyone, it's, it's almost like when, when they say England's going to win the World Cup every year. They're almost thinking like, when, so, you know, Arsenal had a little bit of a dip, but now it's like, when's Arsenal going to be the, the one to, 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 ta yep. to take it? Who's, when, it, you know, are they going to be the club to beat Liverpool? Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's always, it's always that, 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 that constant battle. But um, yeah, like I say, from, from, as of lately, I've not been following it quite so much as 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 I'd like to. Um, but I, when I do dip in and out, I always see that they're doing well. So uh, for that, all I can say is, let's go, let's go, Gunners, let's uh, yeah. let, 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 let's let's keep it moving, and let's try let's try and get this, try and get this, uh, try and get this first place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hundred percent. They they've been working hard. Um, they 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 just blitzing teams for fun. We got Sheffield United, which again. Uh, on Monday, which we expect to blitz out of the way. We just lost one game out of the last maybe seven seven or eight games uh, in the Champions League against Porto. But I, I see us bouncing back against against Porto. And um, the biggest match that we're really looking forward to, I mean, we've beat Liverpool this season. We've beat Man Manchester City this season. We've beat Manchester United this season. We haven't done bad against the teams that we generally lose yeah. points to every season yeah. so the, the stuff that we've <clears throat> that we've done this season is is, is is a real improvement on 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 what we've done in in previous seasons so you know hopefully come end of the season you know we we're, we're able to uh we're able to pick up some kind of silverware because just like you are a prize fighter us fans, we want to see silverware. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> we, I'm we, saying. We, we want to see silverware. That is the only reason we're in this. You know, we want we want silverware at the end of the day, and uh, that's that's why we we're, we're, we're going through this journey with the club. Uh, Modestas, thank you so much for your time. You're always generous. You always show us love. I truly, truly appreciate you, my brother. And uh, I hope uh, every 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 endeavor your kettlebell bell business even going to cornering your friend your comeback you know when you you know when you get when you get that call up for for the fight maybe in may maybe in june you know whenever that is i hope uh, every everything goes well everything goes to plan Aww. wishing you every single success my Mate, brother you um, you are the man and believe me you will be one of the first people to know when i sign a fight so uh we're going to we're going to get that interview ready we're going to have it booked have it booked already, ready to go uh, for when for whenever the time comes. Um, but brother, like I say, uh, you've been a massive supporter since day one. Um, I like, bro, I love you, man. Like, <laughs> like I say, every time we do this, I really yeah, enjoy yeah. it. Uh, you're always full of energy. You always bring good, uh, like I say, good, good energy, good vibes, uh, good feels. Uh, and it just gets your day started right. Do you know what I mean? How how could you not start your start your day listen to Ola? Do you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> No, but serious, man. I appreciate you, man. I really, really, truly appreciate you, brother. Uh, and uh, I hope uh, every, everything goes well for you. And people, this has been Modestas Bukaskas. And if you haven't subscribed to his page, Gladiator Diaries, I don't know what you're doing. Go subscribe to that page. If you, Even if he's doing, if, even if Modi ain't doing big uh, 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 media out there, you want to find out anything about Modi, go to Gladiator Diaries. You're going to get everything on there. Go and follow him on his page, MuddyB24. Go and check him out on his page on Instagram as well. He's doing big, big things on there. Salute to you. Big love, my brother. And up until the next video. Hasta la vista. We're out. My Salute. Brother. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget, we do our Dust Off Shakedown every Wednesday, 9 p.m. UK time. Don't miss it.